How are we doing out there? Andre Pillow, PJ Professional, founder of DNA Golf Instruction. Wanted to give you some more tips and ways you can make some improvements this off season. Uh, one thing that I like to do is work on my short game. I think that most of us have room in our houses where we can putt on carpet or even do some chipping. And I want to recommend a way that you can improve your chipping. Um, something that I used to do with my first tee students. Um, using rubber bands and putting rubber bands on the outside of your sweet spot um, with your wedge. I think you can do this with full swing. Um, but if you practice hitting shots, you'll get instant feedback in relation to your ball contact. If you're inside, you're going to hit the rubber band. If you're out in the toe, you'll hit the rubber band. And this helps you concentrate your energy and still work on mechanics and, and, and uh, target awareness. Um, but if you can master making solid contact with these rubber bands on, we know you're making um, a pretty consistent contact in the center of the face. Um, if you think you're getting real good, I would tell you to move these in even further on both sides and uh, continue to work on, on short game elements um, while you're indoors. Now, you can do this with a 7 iron. You can even put these on a driver and you can get some feedback. And this is more feel feedback um, in relation to how it feels. Like I said, you start to recognize what a toe hit feels like and that rubber band gives you instant feedback. Same with the heel. So think about that as a way to concentrate your focus on hitting the center of the club face um, with your wedges. Don't be afraid to try this um, when you get out on the range um, or if you have a dome or an indoor place to, to hit with a seven iron or even you know, a wood of some kind. Um, but you know, just think about ways to improve that contact and, and to prove your consistency um, as we prepare for the next year. Okay, thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.